It's the Leader Matters Podcast, 100 Lessons in Leadership from Parker Resources. In a time when so many businesses, organizations, teams, groups, whatever, striving for success, you know what really separates them is leadership. The leader still matters. It's not all about that other stuff. The best way to make your program better, your organization better, is to make the leader better. And so if you're listening to this and you're a leader or aspiring leader, hopefully you're getting something out of it. Today, we're on episode seven of 100, put relationships over everything. So the first six of these were basically introductions. And now we're going to talk about the three main things, relationships, communication, and toughness. And so the next about 20 lessons are all part of relationships. And this is kind of the introduction to that. Put relationships over everything else you do. You have to have relationships with the people in your organization, the people matter you know the leader matters but you as the leader have to be a servant you have to help the people matter you show them that they matter people are going to work hard for the leader if they believe in the leader and there's no a lot of times we mistake it by thinking people take jobs for more money or they stay if you give them a little raise or something i'm sure some of that stuff is helpful but the main reason people will work hard is if they believe in the leader if they believe in the organization and they really see themselves as a vital part of it. So if the leader can make all those things happen, then a lot of the issues that come up are going to be so much easier to deal with. The first thing that we might understand before we even get to what how to put relationships over everything is understand what it doesn't. Building relationships does not mean let somebody do whatever they want to do or giving them something all the time or leaving them alone in the vein of, you know, we're not going to ask you to do anything and just kind of let you do whatever you want. That's not building a relationship, we're not necessarily saying make people like you. That's a whole different thing. We're not, nobody, the title of this is not let's get people to like us. The title is build a relationship with that person. And the relationship is built over a long period of time. How many times have you met people that maybe you liked at first and later thought, you know, maybe that wasn't what I thought or vice versa. You know, a relationship is built over a period of time. It doesn't mean we're saying as a leader, let people do whatever they want. Or the second thing is don't leave them alone in the vein of, you know, no, I'm just going to trust you in the work. That's not necessarily exactly what we mean either. Build a real relationship, meaning sometimes give them what they want. Sometimes leave them alone. Sometimes, but first, make sure they understand that you have their best interest at heart. You care about them, all these things. So what relationships, what building relationships does mean is show people you care, be there for, them. be honest with, them. even when it's hard. Cause you know, sometimes it's easy to say you're honest with people, but sometimes you gotta be honest in something that may be a crucial conversation, something they don't really wanna hear. Put yourself in their shoes, make the team or whoever's on your team, whoever your people are, believe in you. And they believe you will always do what's best for the group. If you can do those things, you can get by with having to tell them something they don't want to hear. You can push them. You can do the things that the leader has to do to make the team better. But you've got to build that relationship, and it takes a long time. Show them you care. Be there for them. Be honest with them. Put yourself in their shoes. Make them believe in you. All those are things that we're going to talk about individually in the next several lessons. You know, so I think about like in HR, my job, I'm the director of human resources. We recruit. We develop and we retain. Those are That's it. Everything we do falls into those three categories. We're either trying to get new hires, we're taking care of the people we've got, and we're trying to retain them. So all those come down to relationships. You know, you, you want to recruit people to come to your place, you got to be able to build relationships with people. You want to develop them, make them better at their job, you got to build a relationship with them. You want to retain them, keep them their whole career you better really have a relationship at that point. So I'm just using that because that's my job, but think about whatever your job is. And I bet it comes down to relationships. I bet that everything you're dealing with is going to come down to building those relationships. And you bring up a problem to me, I could say, well, you know, what's your relationship like with so-and-so? You know, or how is is this going to help you? How can you build better relationships with these people to fix that problem? You're going to see that most problems are going to come down to either relationships communication or toughness and sometimes they overlap and it could be about two or three of them you know some people are better than others at this you know I'm not going to shy away from that some people are just really likable or they're really good at building relationships and getting people on their side and and some people may not be naturally as good at that but I have learned in my career and one of the reasons I really 
and passionate about this project is I do think if you care, you can develop into a better leader and a better relationship builder. And if you're listening to this right now, then obviously you care because you're trying. So continue to think of ways you can build better relationships and try to spend the next, you know, maybe 10 of these or so talking about things that you can do to help build just better relationships. So be on the lookout for that, you know, but think right now, what are you doing well with building relationships with your team? What, what are you good at involving relationships? What needs to improve? What aspect of building relationships are you not as comfortable with or as good at and you have to build on? You know, I've still got things I'm working on that. So, uh, you know, what are some things you need to improve on relationships? But that's going to be our topic for the next several days, the next several weeks. will all be shows focused on building relationships. At Parker Resources, we've got several things. We can help you with building relationships. You know, sometimes educating yourself, getting more organized is a way to build better relationships. Follow us on social media. You can go to our website and listen to podcasts. We've got some books. And uh, I'll be glad to help you any way I can. We've got some great feedback from this so far. Looking forward to 93 more of these after today. So um, hope we'll see you next time.